All right. So, a couple of days ago, this kid, along with other um, spring breakers, who are probably from college, right around Miami, I, I assume. We were here for spring break, apparently. And they didn't get the memo about the coronavirus. Some people think that the deadly, very deadly virus isn't serious. Like, it's not going to harm them. And this guy here is the face of it all. I mean, what kind of person wouldn't follow instructions? Because now, as of today, the beaches in Miami are closed. All of them, especially the one Brady Studer is, or Sluter is on. Watch this. If I get Corona, I get Corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to want to stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Two, three months. So we're just not even having a good time. Whatever happens, happens. So you wish to get Corona? Whatever happens, happens. Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to get sick, and you're going to be infected, and you're not going to know when you're going to get better from Corona. I mean, come on. Why do you, Brady, have to say that getting Corona is okay, and getting Corona is not a big deal? Because it kind of is, and you really are putting everyone's lives in danger because of it. I mean, I don't know what you were thinking, but you had a whole career ahead of you. You shouldn't say that, oh, Corona is just a small flu, not a big deal. Corona is a big deal. The coronavirus is a very deadly virus. And it can pretty much kill any one of us. Even though we don't have severe symptoms as yet, it could change. The younger human beings can have the most severe symptoms as much as the older human beings. The older human beings who are still on this earth. They can potentially die any day now. And we could be next. We could be next. Like it's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach when they're closing all of Um, well, you could still go to the supermarket, but you can also, uh, play board games you know, exercise at home, that kind of thing, not go outside and party. It's really messy. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing... whoop de doo another selfish, selfish answer from you. No, they're not blowing it way out of proportion. They're not do doing it way too much. It is for the safety of humankind. Everywhere. It is not just a small virus. It is a deadly virus. And if you can't understand that, if you can't understand that, then you got something wrong with you. I mean, come on. What did you expect when you wanted to talk to the media? Or when the media wanted to talk to you. You guys are the reasonable example of all this. And it shows. Way too much. Doing us bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. There's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. We need to adjust. 
this virus is a serious threat. It has killed more than like a thousand people all around the world. And including here in the country. If you check the numbers of the United States, we're over, we're, we're probably around way past 9,000 people who are infected with the coronavirus. And for you to say that, that the world hunger and other things are more serious than the virus, they're not as serious as the coronavirus because it can be deadly to anyone, not just the elderly. So I'm here to party, so it's kind of disappointing, but we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot, so we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. Just because that we were taught that it's okay to risk your life doesn't mean it's actually okay to do it when you have coronavirus. Again, that virus is very deadly. You cannot risk your life over a deadly virus just to party all day long. Like it's 1999. Again. Like, come on. Be smart. I mean, it sucks, but we're going to make the best of it. We're enjoying ourselves. It sucks. And I'm from New Orleans, so this really sucks. However, we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're having day parties all day. It's my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy getting other people infected by a deadly virus, which can potentially kill us all. This is one of those examples that, as to why you do not listen to the media or the government, or the government, or the local government. You people need to take this seriously. If you're, if you're part of the of, of Generation Z, then you need to show Generation Z that you're not. They need to show everyone that Generation Z is not full of bunch of uh, dumbass idiots. Okay? We need to show Generation Z that we're more than just dumbass idiots. Because clearly, that's what we are right now. Because you prefer to party over taking uh, care of your own health. Because of how serious, deadly, uh, of how deadly serious this virus is. And this virus is going to last a lifetime. Or at least until summer. And you won't be able to live a little bit longer if you, if you get the virus. Trying to roll with the boy. We're just living for the moment. Uh, yeah, no. You can't just roll with it. You can't just live for the moment now. This virus is serious, and you have to take it seriously. I mean, come on. Why don't you risk your life over a deadly virus? You're not really that smart for a college kid. We're just going for, we're just going to do what happens, when it happens, when stuff closes, we're going to do when it closes. When it happens, when it happens. When it closes, it closes. No. Follow the procedure seriously. It closes, but uh, uh, besides that, we're just trying to have the best chip we can. We're Seriously, you can't do that. That's why the mayor called called it in right now. Or at least the governor. I don't know I don't know who called it, but 
somebody somebody called for the beach to be closed and you think you can just ignore the advice from local officials and state officials and the US government including the President of the United States that we are in a difficult time and you want to risk your life partying all day for the rest of your life while not following the procedures yeah you might want to really turn on your brain I mean this is why you're not smart enough and for anyone else who is on these kids sides I feel sorry for you because you don't know the real problem of the world and if you knew the real problem of the world you would keep tabs as to what's going on these days because a virus like the coronavirus is not a mild virus it is a deadly virus and it can kill everyone not just the elderly if the elderly dies from it so can we we are not immune to any other virus that can kill us all if you've taken a look at on um, at the internet lately it's not just the older generation who died other people who are practically 20 years older than us or younger than us have died too and they will get the coronavirus I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. So. spring break for a while about two months without this trip playing two three months so we're just out here having a good time whatever happens happens with the bars being closed you know we'll find alternatives unfortunately it does suck like the bars and restaurants are closed but we'll find ways out for it like it's really messing up with my spring break what is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it it's really messing up i think they're blowing it way out of proportion i think it's doing way too much i mean it sucks but we're gonna make the best of it we're enjoying ourselves it sucks and I'm from New Orleans, so this really sucks. However, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. We having day parties all day. It's my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. Turn up. doing us bad we need a refund this virus ain't that serious it's serious it's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty we need to address yes, that trying to roll with the point we're just living for the moment we're just going for we're just going to do what happens when it happens when stuff closes we're going to do when it closes but uh, uh besides that we're just trying to have the best chip we can we're just trying to make with what we have right now Up in the air if we were gonna still go but like we're here i just turned 21
one this year, so I'm here to party, so it's kind of disappointing. But we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot, so we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. <laughs> Everything's closed. A lot of restaurants are doing to-go food, and they're serving just the hotel guests. So they can obviously order food to the rooms. Uh, the beaches are closed from um, 5th Street to 14th. Everything's been closed for the last couple days now, and that might be for a longer period of time. This is Brady Sluner's Facebook page. I found it pictures of what he used to, of what he looks like, and uh, of course he is from Mil Milford, Ohio, and he lives there too, and he goes to a high school called Milford High School in Ohio. So if you're from Melford, Ohio, well, let me be the first to say that I am sorry that he's the bumbling idiot in your town or or city, wherever, wherever part of place Milford, Ohio is from. But, yeah, I am sorry that he, he is from that area. Because apparently he didn't know the consequences of what could happen if he spread the coronavirus to an elderly person or anyone pretty much 20, 30, 40, 50 years older or older than a teenager. Even a teenager can get it, especially a younger kid. A younger kid can get the coronavirus. So I'm very sorry for that. I'm very sorry he also exists because he had a, a whole career, of, a whole career ahead of him, and now he's going to be most likely known as the guy who doesn't give a fuck about a deadly virus. Before this video ends, I'm going to play you a song from his uh, timeline. He's a Silent Cloud rapper, by the way. An upcoming one. That's where I'd like to end this video off. But let me just say this. If you still think today that this virus is not that serious and won't harm you, well, next time, please pay attention to the news media and the local government and the national government of our country, and maybe you'll find out why this virus is much more severe as it is right now. Because anyone, even you, can get it.
wanna live on the road, go from show to show. This the only life I know. This the only thing I want for show. Everybody talking to me, saying that I can. I don't give a fuck if you don't ride right because I know I can. And ever since I was a kid, I've always had a plan. Everything is right, nothing can be wrong. I did this shit by myself all along. Late night. Late night. Yeah. 